The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. With a large crowd gathering and people from every town finding their way to him, Jesus used this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. As he sowed, some fell on the edge of the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some seed fell on rock. When it came up, it withered away, having no moisture. Some seed fell amongst thorns, and the thorns grew with it and chalked it. And some seed fell into rich soil and grew and produced its crop a hundredfold. Saying this, he cried, Listen, anyone who has ears to hear. His disciples asked him what this parable might mean, and he said, The mysteries of the kingdom of God are revealed to you, for the rest, there are only parables so that they may see but not perceive, listen but not understand. This then is what the parable means, that seed is the word of God. Those on the edge of the path are people who have heard it. Then the devil comes and carries away the word from their hearts in case they should believe and be saved. Those on the rock are people who, when they first hear it, welcome the word with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in time of trial they give up. As for the path that fell into thorns, this is people who have heard, but as they go on, the, on their way, they are choked by the worries and riches and pleasures of life and do not reach maturity. As for the part in the rich soil, this is people with a noble and generous heart who have heard the word and take it to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in the parable of the sower that Jesus preaches today, when the sower sows the seed, not all of it takes root and produces a crop. Indeed, a great deal of it goes to waste. Only some seed found the right soil and went on to provide a harvest. The seed is vulnerable. There can be all kinds of forces working against it. The environment is not always supportive of the seed. The same could be said of our life of faith. The seed of faith that is sown in our hearts at baptism is vulnerable. The environment in which we live is not always supportive of our faith. Trials can come our way and shake our faith. The worries and riches and pleasures of life can chalk it. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to nurture the seed of faith that we have received at baptism. We have a part to play in providing the good soil that the seed needs. One element of such good soil is prayer. Both our personal prayer and the prayer of the community of believers. And today's gospel reading equates 
the good soil with those who hear the word with a noble and generous hearts and take it to themselves. My dear brothers and sisters, that form of prayer in particular creates an environment that allows the seed of faith to grow. It is the prayer of real listening to the word of the Lord, the kind of listening that bears much fruit in how we live and relate to others. For this grace, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.